Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I want to also use the AMD CPU to do a quick demo for stable diffusion. So this time I will use the OMMX method. So I will uh, list out the packages in my virtual environment. Yeah, in addition to the <coughs> diffusers, I installed the OMMX and the OMMX runtime. So, yeah, so using those two, it seems that uh, it, uh, it is able to accelerate uh, the running of the images. One Drawback is that it requires the model to be converted uh, to OMMX format. So this converting may sometimes uh, not work. So this is the uh, only drawback that I can think of. All right, let's uh, take a quick uh, spin. So I already created uh, some uh, testing script. I will run them within the Python. All right, so let's uh, let's first import uh, the OMMX uh, pipeline method, and then we can uh, define the pipeline using this method. So pay attention to the model directory is right here, and then one thing needed to be noted is that uh, the provider needed to be CPU execution provider. And for demo purpose, I turned off the safety checkers, which is not uh, recommended. All right, so, and I will press uh, uh, enter here. Yeah, pay attention to the memory usage on the monitoring chart. So as expected, it uh, will load uh, the model into the memory. And uh, here is a warning message about the safety checker. All right, so I think everything looks good here. Okay, so, so next we will use one example prompt. This is the same prompt I used uh, previously. And uh, we'll like kick off the image generating process. All right, so let's uh, get ready. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. Okay. Yeah, as I mentioned previously, so right now because the recording software is running, so it may affect the performance but I don't think uh, there will be a lot. So I will try to rerun it uh, after turning off the recording. So you will get uh, to see how it uh, performs on the like a battle situation. So let's uh, take a look at the monitoring chart for the CPU. We can see there are uh, 32 of them and uh, we can Notice there are some difference between this time and the previous time without using the OMMX. So if you remember, like during the time without OMMX, almost all of them are like at least 80% to 90%. So this, this time it seems uh, some of the box, they, they are low. Like for example, the second one, CPU one, is around the thirty percent. Also, this CPU twenty two is also around the twenty percent, thirty percent, and also here it's also not that much. CPU eighteen and the CPU twenty five. So it just seems it's uh, more efficient for the CPU. 
and uh, let's look at the progress bar. So, as I mentioned, it's uh, indeed uh, uh, accelerated uh, the process. So, this time it's uh, uh, 4.8 seconds per iteration. Okay, it uh, completes. So let's take a quick look at the output. Yeah, looks great. All right, so yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much. I will later provide uh, some uh, other runnings so you can get an idea about uh, the average performance. All right, so this is the screenshot of a, a total of three wrong for this method. So as you can see, I think uh, the OMMX method uh, indeed uh, help uh, the CPU to accelerate uh, generating of the images. So, and uh, I previously provided lots of videos about uh, how to use the OMMX uh, format model, how to convert uh, other models to OMMX format. So I think uh, you were able to take uh, advantage of that to help you to experiment with different model with your favorite model. So I think uh, I recommend uh, the OMMX method. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.